Hello and welcome to 90 East. Today we've got something a little bit different, a Q&A, and it's something that you'd relate to if you are someone who likes fresh, cold air in the morning. That is, why is it when I go for a run when it's cold, my nose also runs? That's a really good question. To answer that question, we need to think about what the function of the nose is in the first place. So, let's get this person and let's cut them in half so you can open up and see what it looks like in the inside of their nose. Here we go. So we've got a nostril here, moving into the nasal passage. We've got the teeth here and then the mouth. We've got the back of the throat. And then the throat divides into the trachea, which moves into the lungs, and into the esophagus, which moves into the stomach. So now we know where everything is. Let's have a think about what the nose does. And probably the first thing that springs to mind is that it helps move air down into our lungs. And that's really important. What's also important is that it warms up that air. So say for instance you're outside and it's 10 degrees Celsius. If that air was to move into your lungs at that temperature, you'd become very, very cold. Your whole body would become a little blue and you'd probably become hypothermic. And that can be really quite serious and fatal. But thankfully it doesn't. Thankfully it reaches the lungs at a temperature of around 37 degrees, plus or minus about a degree. So your lungs can quite comfortably use that air and your body temperature doesn't change. Now it's really interesting to think that we've got this open passage here that's constantly moving air down into our lungs. And our lungs only has a very, very thin membrane between the outside world and blood. And so it would be very easy for bugs to get into our blood and to cause infections. Except we've got a couple of different defense systems within our nose that stops that from happening. The first one that you probably know of is hairs in your nose. These little hairs will trap any big particles that are in the air. So say, for instance, if you're doing a little bit of DIY at home and you're doing a bit of sawing, any of those wood particles or that sawdust will get trapped in your nose hair. But bugs are really, really small. Bacteria and viruses are so, so small and they can get through the nasal hair. So we need another defense system. And that other defense system is snot. Now let's have a look at how that works. So say for instance, this is the lining of our nasal passage. We've got all these really tall column-like cells that we actually call columnar cells. And we've got all these different smaller cells, which are called goblet cells that intersperse between the columnar cells. These goblet cells function to produce something called mucus or snot that you know of. And it does this by releasing it like a gland into the nose. This mucus is really, really important because it traps all those tiny little bacteria and all those tiny little things that get through the nasal hairs. As you can see, the top of these different columnar cells have got all these different little protrusions here. Things that look a little bit like tiny, 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 tiny fingers, much, much smaller than any of the big nasal hairs. Now, interestingly, these little protrusions actually beat. They have a little rhythm to them. And as they beat, they move the mucus up into the top of the nose and down the throat and into the stomach. We actually swallow up to a liter of snot each day. Our stomach acid kills all that bacteria and they can't do any harm to us through our lungs. Now, sometimes especially when it's really, really cold, these different cilia stop working very well. In fact, sometimes they can become a little bit paralyzed. And when they do that, the mucus starts to run down the nose. And that's what you find when you've got a bit of a runny nose on a cold winter's morning. I hope you found this video useful. If you yourself have got any questions, please send us a message directly through YouTube or email 9 eastv at gmail.com. Thanks, everyone.